Good morning. Good morning. Well, maybe afternoon. It might be. Don't right know. Now. Don't know. <laughs> um, first off, I want to thank everybody for all of the outpouring of concern and thoughts and prayers uh, with my little concerning my little minor procedure yesterday. <laughs> You survived. I did, didn't I? Yeah. <laughs> For those of you that aren't familiar, uh, I ended up with AFib, and uh, it wouldn't go away after I had pneumonia here a while back. So anyway, uh, the doctor suggested we do a cardioversion, which basically they, they, you know, zap you, and uh, you to know, get, to get, to your, get heart your heart back, back, in, back rhythm. in rhythm. Yeah. 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 And. Uh, I was a little apprehensive about it at first, you know, a little nervous, but uh, several people came in when, it, when we mentioned in another video what we were going to be doing. Um, they came in and said, you know, they'd had it several times. It's really not that big of a deal and everything, which was, was much more reassuring on my part. Yes, yeah. of course. Yeah. We always want, I mean, because, hey. you know, <laughs> yeah. does it doesn't uh, sound like it's a good idea. <laughs> but anyway, uh, uh, course i don't remember anything about it all i remember was when they started to uh slip the stuff into the iv to make me go to sleep the doctor was standing there talking to me and he said you should start feeling the effects here and i said and i remember saying yeah i can feel the effects i'm starting to feel the effects and the only thing i remember is waking up and you're you're there <laughs> You know, and our son Michael, he he was able to come down, and take off work long enough to come. Yeah, down I appreciate that. Yeah. I didn't think I needed anyone, but yeah. I was glad he was there. But uh, anyway, uh, of course, we always we all thought that it would just be a one-time thing, you know, and to for this particular procedure. But uh, they ended up having to zap me twice, right? Well, he's stubborn that way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, tell the story how that. Well, the came doctor up. came and got. Mike and I out of the waiting room and he says okay we're all done blah 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 you know when he was going through stuff as he's walking back when he gets back to the room the guys in the room said uh nope and he says y'all go back to the waiting room so we did and uh, he had to go in and zap him again because he wasn't yeah. playing right I got a zub double zap <laughs> yeah. but anyway but then they came and got us and everything was good yeah yeah so uh, everything's back on order, you know, and everything. And, uh, of course I was hungry cause I hadn't eaten much. Yeah. So well, we I wasn't ate. supposed to eat, you know, after midnight <laughs> right. the night before. And I stopped eating around seven 30. I think I, we snacked on something around seven 30. Um, but no, should, I shouldn't tell him that you did fine. Everything's okay. fine. I shouldn't tell him that I had a cup of coffee anyway, just one. Shouldn't tell him that. I'll probably never, get... never tell Bill a secret. As my, as a lot of you know, Bill can't keep his mouth shut for love nor money. Do you know how hard it is to start my day without no little? I mean, so don't ever tell him something you don't want the world to know. But I was drinking it at five thirty. Anyway, we anyway. had the procedure. They kicked us out. We went and ate lunch. Yeah, yeah. We came home. He told me, yeah. I'm not going to bed. I'm not tired. And next thing I know, he's snoring in bed. And he slept till about 5 o'clock or so. <laughs> well, it was cold. And, and that's why we're doing this inside the day. Because it's, it's, it's the sun shining out there. But today, it's cold It out was there. 29 when we woke yeah, up this we had morning. One of those. But anyway, we just wanted to do a quick uh, thing to tell you. And I will say this, that the... Uh, I didn't. I had a rough night last night. Didn't sleep very well because, uh, and one of our followers did uh, caution us about this. Um, said that uh, they put these patches on you. There's a patch that goes here, and then one on your back, and they're about oh about that big round. About that big, yeah. like that, and or is it like that? I don't know. But anyway, um, depends on how they. And that's, you know, they put one here, one on your back, and that's, I guess that's so they can get the electricity to go all the way through, you know, or whatever. <laughs> anyway, um, um, they really, really stick good. In fact, they had to shave all my manly hair off my chest. And on your back. And on my back, too. <laughs> that's kind of embarrassing. Never mind. Anyway, um, 
you know, because they said that these things really hurt when they pull them off. Well, of course, I didn't know that because I already had them ripped off, you know, while I was still out. But when it really started bothering me, not so much on this one that was right here, when it really started bothering me is the one on my back just started itching like crazy last night. And, uh, of course, reaching back there trying to scratch it, even if I could have reached it, would have been pretty difficult. Um, and that could have caused other issues, right. you know, I could have ended up, uh, filleting my back, but, uh, cause it was itching really, really bad. And we had some cortisone cream, tried that, that didn't work. And we tried, had some aloe vera, tried that, that didn't work. One of our followers had suggested that morning that we asked for silver dyeing cream, but we didn't even think about it cause I wasn't feeling no pain, no nothing. <laughs> And, well, I halfway mentioned it, and the nurse didn't pick up on it, so I thought, oh, we're, uh, we'll be fine. Yeah. So anyway, should have uh, got it. Well, we ended Selma, up. Selma, we should have got it. Yeah, Selma. <laughs> we we know now. But anyway, what we ended up doing finally around two mm -hmm. two o'clock in the morning or so, because I couldn't sleep. No matter, I, you know, I try and it would just I try to meditate and try to think about something else, and it just didn't work. So finally, uh, I remembered from my sunburn days when I would get sunburned a lot uh, what we discovered the best thing for sunburn is and write this down because <laughs> I'm an expert at getting sunburned uh, the best thing for sunburn is noxzema just plain old noxzema you know, kind of wash face with <laughs> yeah yeah and it will take the fire right out of your sunburn and uh, and it will also uh, help keep it from blistering if you get burned really 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 bad and uh and we had some and so i thought well why don't we try that so we did and it took the itching away uh took the sting away and uh and then of course this morning uh Deb scrubbed my back for me when I took a shower. So Lightly I, scrubbed it. It yeah. looks like a sunburn. That's what it yeah. looks like. It's yeah. about yay big. It looks like a sunburn. Uh -huh. And it's got, a, you said you had a couple little burns. And then you got there. little other spots where yeah. I think the uh, EKG things were. Uh -huh. The heart monitor thingies, uh -huh. I'm assuming. Could be. It's hard to say. But anyway. But um, Noxzema finally got it to where I could sleep. So. Uh, and we got a half a bottle of wine over here. I, I was really tempted to get up and drink that whole half bottle of wine, you know, and just get. I wasn't sure about drinking alcohol on top of your, well, all the crap they pumped. But into I you. didn't. Okay, <laughs> I didn't do it. So anyway, but um, believe me, I, I, I'm speaking from experience. In fact, I've had a few skin cancers, you know, as a result of me being sunburned so much from when I was young. Um, but noxzema, as far as we're concerned, is the best thing in the world for sunburn and it will take the fire right out of it right right yeah okay anything else before we go this yes is just, we okay. want everyone to have a great thanksgiving oh yeah and a yeah. great holiday mm -hmm. um hope you get to be with you know some people that you you want to be with uh -huh. and uh, we will be with our children this year first time in a couple of years uh -huh. so we're kind of we're very excited yeah. well, about well we'll have an extra one and then we got the new one that we're going to be fighting yeah. over a little baby and, grant uh, <laughs> <laughs> and then Bill has his follow-up with the cardiologist um, on December 5th. Mm -hmm. And then we will be headed, if that all goes well, which we anticipate it will. I feel great. I, mean, I really feel good. Uh, I don't know that I feel a, a whole bunch, bunch better or anything like that. But one thing that I will say is I noticed the last few days, all my joints were starting to hurt and everything. And I wasn't taking anything for it. But I just didn't feel like I could move you know and uh, anyway after this this morning I, well even when we got home yesterday afternoon um, I wasn't feeling that no more and this morning I wasn't feeling that I mean I was able to so you know, get now his excuse so. of I'm tired doesn't hold up anymore right <laughs> I can still get tired <laughs> oh you know just because I mean I can still get tired <laughs> Okay. So anyway, uh, but yeah, got an appointment on the fifth. Follow up with him, and and if everything goes all all, it's good, time to head south. It's getting cold well, yeah, up here. Yeah, we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna start moseying south. We hope to be on the road by the seventh of That's December. That's our goal. That's our goal. And to end up at, at our first uh, destination in Florida, 
around the 15th. So, but we will keep you informed on that. I've still got some more walkthrough videos to get up. Uh, <laughs> we ordered two more solar panels just a little while ago uh, to match the ones that are on the van uh, where we're building that uh, 600 amp hour, 3000 watt uh, power station in the van. Uh, the two more solar panels is going to change everything and I'm toying with an idea of having the panels switchable so I could not only use them to power the system in the van and bring it up to snuff but then once the van was fully charged uh, be able to switch over where the panels now uh, come into the trailer and augment uh, charging up the battery bank in the trailer so uh, I'll uh, I'm going to ponder over that some more and we may end up doing something like that and we'll show you how we did it. Anything else? Okay. Uh -uh. Anyway, oh, this is a painting. that has been working on this painting for the last several days. Uh, once you get it out, can you pick, is it where you can pick it up and show it yeah. real quick? Now this one is spoken for, but this is one that uh, she's been working on here for a couple days. Just thought we'd uh, show you what she's been doing there. If y'all would like to commission a uh, landscape style painting of sorts uh dad would be sure willing to talk to you well as long as you understand that just because i have a picture doesn't mean it looks like the picture <laughs> when i get done um it, no matter how hard i try it's not there my yeah. other paintings are available on our website under deb's art yeah and the, what's the name of our website i ride tinyhouseadventures.com correct thank you <laughs> But they my are. paintings are there, um, and I think I got a couple of new ones to add to it that I haven't uh, got added yet. But anyway, and our Gmail address is I ride tiny I ride tiny house at gmail dot com. Mm -hmm. I ride tiny house at gmail dot com. See, he threw us by not setting it up correctly in the first place. Well, the <laughs> website is I ride tiny house adventures dot com. <laughs> The email account is iridetinyhouse at gmail.com. Okay. Got it right. There All we right. are. Y'all take care. This is Bill and Deb with I Ride Tiny House Adventures, and you know what we always say. We're not camping. We are living. Y'all get out there and go do some living and uh, be watching for some uh, fresh uh, walkthrough cargo trailer conversion videos here coming up shortly. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye.